Hey guys. Hey, David. Hey. Well, thank you for coming in the speakeasy today. My pleasure. I always like to come in here and drink some bourbon, unless you didn't pour me bourbon, in which case we're going to have a fight. Here you go. It's Let's a... do this. No, it's a bourbon. I can tell. It smells like a pretty good bourbon. I'm not complaining. I like that. I do too. What'd you pour? I'm getting a lot of proof though. A lot of proof, I spice. Proof, spice, caramel. Fruit. Fruit. Uh, dried fruit, though. Because it's more... kind of a dried fruit. I'm getting a little bit of a, a nutmeg. It smells like fruitcake or eating fruitcake. Ooh, it does smell like fruitcake. I'm getting a little, a lot of floral, though, and a lot of honey. Yeah. A little bit of caramel. It smells nice. Let's drink it. it. It smells really good. It's just spicy. Yeah, it is. Ooh, fruity, spicy, and then it just ends with this sweet vanilla cream, Ooh. caramel. What is this? Very proofy and spicy up front. There's a, a thing at first, and it's like licking the side of a pine board. And then after that, you know, it's, uh, it's okay. But I really don't like this one. So at the beginning, I got very... You said lick in the side of a pine board. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking I get a very sour lemon. I can see there's a sour lemon in there too. It reminds me or of- Or a lime, a sour lime. Like a fresh pine. I almost I almost picture like a uh, an overly ripened lime where it's like turning brown and like gross, mm -hmm. but that's that kind of a lime to me. There's a hug, like I have a little bit of burn in my throat. Mm -hmm. The finish was good. And then it just disappeared into proof yeah or spice yeah this isn't this is interesting i don't know what i this one is very very different for me i'm getting some woodiness and barrel char it's got a pretty good mouth feel i just don't particularly like the flavors in it after that initial kind of sour wood pine thing it goes into this uh the mouth feels okay the mouth feels actually not bad at all and then the finish is very uh very short the sweet part of it is, and it just leaves you with this spicy feeling. Yeah. It's got a really, it's got a good mouthfeel though. It's kind of nice and thick and viscousy. I'm just not in love with the flavors. It's not my jam. See, and I thought the finish was going to finish on the desserty, creamy vanilla, but it just finished in, into this burn of like spice. Yeah. What is this mess? And then I get a leftover taste of what the beginning tasted like. That yeah. soury, like, It's like spice. a sour, spicy barrel. Or like an old fruit, a yeah. rotten fruit. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think it is, David? Now I'm kind of scared for you. I'm almost thinking like a, an iron root, like an iron root harbinger or like a Texas whiskey, maybe Heaven's Door. Something that I haven't, I don't know. And I've liked the Iron Root Harbinger. I mean, it's um, uh, maybe a Henry McKenna 10 or Heaven's Door or something David, like that. David, you guessed one. Really? I'm out of you. Yes. You know I don't like it. Why did you give it to me? <laughs> <laughs> I don't like it. <laughs> okay, so no. <laughs> Jamie, thank you so much for grabbing me some Henry McKenna 10, which is one that you know I do not enjoy. Hopefully you enjoyed this video because I drank something I really don't enjoy. A lot of people really like Henry McKenna 10 and that's that's cool. If, if it's up your alley and you enjoy it, knock yourself out. Uh, bottled and bond whiskey coming in at 100 proof, age 10 years, 10 years age stated. Comes in right around uh, like $60, $65 retail. And it's it's kind of hard to find in some places. And oh, okay. I don't, it, there was a honey barrel of this that won a spirits competition you know, back in, I don't know, 2019, 2020, and it just became this hot thing. I never understood it. And I'm guessing that they submitted a perfect barrel to the spirits competition, or a perfect bottle from a perfect barrel. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and I just, it's never lived up to the hype for me ever since. I just think it's overrated and it's not worth, I don't even think it's worth $65. Yeah. I mean, I have to agree. I didn't love it. I didn't like it. And 
I don't hate it. It was gone before I knew it, so it wasn't like anything that I liked about it was gone so quick, so. Yeah, and I, you know, I don't hate it, hate it. Like, I, I mean, that's probably overstating it. It's not, there are some whiskeys that I've had that I truly think are gross. Yes. This isn't gross. It's just not really my thing, so. Okay, David, so if this is Heaven Hills Distillery, is there a bottle that they um, do that you do like that we have? Yes. Yes, because I want to try something good. A good alternative, in my opinion, is the Heaven Hill 7-Year Bottled and Bond uh, or Elijah Craig's. Elijah Craig's are all Evan, uh, Heaven Hill, so if you wanted to, to go with that, you could uh, enjoy that. What about this guy, David? Is it findable, um, and how much is it? It's becoming more findable. It used to be a little harder to find, but they're they're kind of. I think they're ramping up production because I'm seeing it more places now. You still can't get it in Virginia, but I've seen it in North Carolina. My first bottle I got was down in North Carolina. I paid sixty bucks for it. This one I got down in Georgia over the summer, and I paid forty three for it. So this is definitely an affordable bottle. It's, in my opinion, more findable than Henry McKenna and. I think it's less expensive than Henry McCann most of the time, and it's a better product. Okay. Now, we're just opening this one for the first time because the bottle I had, I uh, drank up, and I didn't have a replacement until I went down to Georgia this summer. So, To me, it's like vanilla and big red and... Lemon. A little bit of lemon, caramel drops. To me, it smells really nice. All right. It's like a spicy cinnamon roll. No. Like a spicy cinnamon roll that's charcoal. It's like, ooh, okay. So the finish, no, don't look. <laughs> the I finish know. ends really nice. Mm -hmm. I get like a caramel, uh, vanilla, oak kind of taste. Yep. And it's, it's really pretty solid now this is one again we just popped the cork on it so it's you know we need to let it breathe for a week or two it's going to sweeten up a little bit from this but in my opinion this is way more drinkable than this oh i agree i agree it's more drinkable oh yeah Ooh, and the finish is nice i mm -hmm. like the finish yep and i think that you know if this isn't something you can find right up your alley the elijah craig line is really good just do an elijah craig small batch i think an elijah craig small batch is better than a henry mckenna 10. Yeah. And if you don't want that, do a uh, Elijah Craig Barrel Proof, 12 year age stated, uh, you know, 120 odd proof. It's a great, great bottle, too. And that's, in my opinion, much better than Hinner Mechanic, especially if you're trying to find something rare. Go with that, not this, but that's just my opinion. Well, David, I'm glad we got to revisit the Henry McKenna so uh, that way you could give your honest opinion on how you feel about it so well it was funny because normally you try to give me bourbons that are like good ones right like <laughs> and so i go and i taste it and i'm like what is this this is and i keep thinking to myself in the back of my brain like i should like this this is something jamie's she's trying to set me up to look dumb like oh i don't like this but then I don't it's have some to great set bottle you up. oh my god well <laughs> anyway and uh anyway i guess my palate was right it's just not something i love well, guys, if you like what we're doing here on Beyond the Rope, please subscribe to the channel. If you like Heaven Hill product, uh, whether it's Henry McKenna or not, smash that like button. <laughs> Thank you all for watching. We'll see you next time. A little bit of... <laughs> it's a little... <laughs> Sorry, it's a... go ahead. No, 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 go ahead. No, you go ahead. No, you go ahead. <laughs> it's like it's a... Like a...